Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. Disappearance of Daniel Sotelo 26-year-old Daniel Sotelo was last seen in Chicago, Illinois on April 30, 2022. He disappeared after taking a CTA train at the Roosevelt Red Line stop. Daniel Sotelo was a student at University of Illinois Chicago with a major in organic chemistry. He was in a romantic relationship with 22-year-old Natalie Brookson, a fellow student at University of Illinois. At the time of his disappearance, Sotelo lived in the Pilsen neighborhood in the lower west side of Chicago, Illinois. Sotelo was just days away from graduating with a master's degree in organic chemistry. Upon graduation, he was planning to continue working at an organic farm in Naperville, Illinois. On April 30, 2022, Sotelo was dropped off by his roommate at the Roosevelt Red Line stop, a Chicago Transit Authority L train station near Roosevelt Road and State Street. Sotelo said he was heading up north, but didn't specify where he was going. Daniel Sotelo never returned home and hasn't been seen or heard from since. A few days later, his family filed a missing persons report with the Chicago Police Department when they couldn't reach him. On May 8, 2022, his graduation ceremony took place at University of Illinois Chicago, but Daniel never showed up. Daniel Sotelo disappeared on the same day as his girlfriend, Natalie Brookson, a fellow student at University of Illinois Chicago of Liberal Arts and Sciences. On April 30, 2022, Brookson went missing after leaving her place of work at Friedman Place, a housing community for blind adults in the 5500 block of North Maplewood Avenue, where she worked as a dietary aide. At the time of her disappearance, Brookson was a senior studying psychology, but had withdrawn from the spring semester. Daniel is known to visit the area of the 6100 block of North Winthrop Avenue. On May 2, 2022, 22-year-old Natalie Brookson was found dead in Lake Michigan, near the 5500 block of North Sheridan Road in Chicago, Illinois. The official cause and manner of her death are yet to be determined. According to Sotelo's family, Daniel's wallet and cell phone were found next to Natalie's body. On May 28th, 2022, Daniel Sotelo's family announced in Thief and Daniel Sotelo Facebook page that he had been found deceased. It is with heavy hearts that we share that Daniel has been found and is no longer with us. My family and I were blessed to have had Danny for the short time that we did. He was an absolute light for us all. His kindness was reflected in his eyes, and his generosity was conveyed in the way he took care of others. His smile had the ability to warm the heart of anyone that came across it. We are fortunate to have witnessed it as many times as we did. According to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, Daniel's body was found one mile offshore of Wilmette in Lake Michigan on May 22, 2022. The cause of death has yet to be determined by the Medical Examiner's Office, which is awaiting toxicology results. Police found no evidence, means or motive for foul play in Daniel Sotlow's disappearance. On May 22, 2022, Daniel Sotlow's body was found one mile offshore of Wilmette in Lake Michigan. Hispanic male with brown hair and hazel eyes. Daniel is 5'8 tall and weighs 155 pounds. No description of what Daniel was wearing when he went missing is available. The last person to see Sotelo was his roommate, who dropped him off at the Roosevelt Red Line stop near Roosevelt Road and State Street. The graduate student said he was heading up north, but didn't say more than that. A few days later, a friend notified his sister that Sotelo hadn't been home the last several days when loved ones couldn't reach him either. They filed a missing persons report. So close sister, Jennifer, said the USC student was just days away from graduating with a master's degree in organic chemistry. She shared that her brother had even been talking about his future plans, which included continuing to work at an organic farm in Naperville. His graduation ceremony took place last weekend, but he never showed up. So Clo's sister said this is completely out of character for him. When he went missing, So Clo's family members believed he was possibly with his girlfriend, Brookson, 
but that could not be confirmed. It's very tough. I can only imagine as a parent how that would feel to have one of your kids go missing, said Jennifer Sotelo. I would just tell him, please come home. You've got a lot of family members, friends, cousins who are worried about you, and we just want to hear from you. Sotelo and his girlfriend, USC student Natalie Brookson, went missing in late April. Both of their bodies were found in the lake. The causes of their deaths are pending. And here ends our featured story, sudden losses. Without a trace, missing suddenly floating lives after the long years and absences of death. Thank you for your continued support. Until the next case of losses.